Today is June the 6th, 2011. Today is Monday. I thank you for tuning in to this video. If you remember the last video, we were dealing with alphabet K, and we showed on that video how a lot of words that begin with C, uh, actually, we have to use the alphabet of K to write those words, and that's just the way it is in Greg's shorthand. Well, today I'm I want to give you some other things uh, beyond uh, the alphabet of K because this is a continuation for the purpose only to take some of those same words that I showed you that we use the alphabet of K to write them with to put them on a line so you have a better perspective and a better insight as to see how those very words that I wrote out appear on the line. So let me write some of those words on the line for you. And then we're going to be going to the alphabet of L, and I'm also going to be showing you words that uh, actually end, uh, words that end with U late, such as formulate, speculate, regulate. There's a lot of words in our English language that ends with U late. And of course, the originators of Greg's shorthand, they knew this, and uh, like many of the words that they took into consideration with word beginnings and word endings, they formulated a quick way to, uh, in great shorthand, to write any word with you late. Uh, and, and formulate would actually be FM, and you put a little U under it. That's formulate. But suppose it was formulation. Then you'd put the T I O N. Uh, onto the U. That's form, FM, U, a formula, because the U under any alphabet, that's one of the rules of Greg's shorthand, uh, even with regulate, R E G, reg, U lay. If you put that little U detached from the last alphabet, underneath the last alphabet, that's R E G, U lay, regulate. The regulation, you just put the T I O N. Okay, and if you want to write regulated or formulated, you would still write formulate, regulate, and you'd add a D to it. That's form, you lay, ted, reg, R E G, you lay, dead. Okay, we're going to get back to that uh, a little bit more in just a little bit. I've got some other words I want to show you with the, that ends with the you lay. But right now, let me show you some of those words that we wrote a while ago in K with K alphabet. And we're going to do it online this time, okay? And that way you'll have a better insight to see what some of those words are supposed to look like on the line. Okay, I'm going to be writing some of the same words that I gave you a while ago. This time on the line, the word, uh, let me get my list here. This is a list I wrote in. I didn't write it in shorthand, I just wrote it in uh, the regular words, and I'm going to hold them above the board here. I uh, wish my memory was 100% recollect, but at all times it's just not that way, okay? Uh, we wrote the word crazy that in great shorthand, that's uh, K-R-A-Z-E, crazy. Okay, kill, K-I-L, a uh, killer, K-I-L-R. Uh, cane, K-A-N, uh, kettle, K-E-T-L, Kelly, K-E-L-E. -E. See how fast that is, cab, K-A-B, cream, K-R-E-M. See how quick all those words are. Oh my, I tell you what, if I would have known great shorthand when I was just a, a young student in, in those first six grades, I mean, I really would have felt like I was ahead of the game altogether of acquiring an academic education in a little higher speed. Okay, let's look at a few more words in K, and we're going to go on to the alphabet of L, okay? I'm just writing some of these same words I promised you that I was going to write online that I wrote off the line a while ago. Crow, K-R-O. Uh, kitchen, K-I-C-H-N. Uh, notice I didn't come all the way down because uh, you have the S-H-C-H-J. 
This is CH, so I only came down halfway. So a lot of times you have the same strokes in some words, but what makes the alphabets change is actually uh, the very length of those strokes. Okay, let's look at the word crescent, like the Crescent City, K-R-E-S-E-N-T. Now I've got some of those little dots where I didn't erase too well a while ago. Okay, crescent, K-R-E-S-E-N-T. Okay, uh, cream, K-R-E-M. I think I already wrote that. How about cookie, K-U-K-E. Uh, how about kitten, which would be K-I-T-I-N, okay, or T-E-N. Uh, because when you go up halfway like that, if you come halfway down, it's a P, but when you go up halfway between the lines, like on a half moon, uh, on like a little hill, if you go up halfway, uh, then that can stand for T-E-N, such as attention, uh, that could also stand for D-E-N, such as, uh, let me see, I don't have enough room here to, such as D-E-N-T-I-S-T, -E -T, dentist. See how quick all that is. Okay, we're just about ready to go into the alphabet of L. I think a lot of people of all the alphabets in great shorthand, I think they're going to find the alphabet of L probably the easiest. Okay, let's look at a few more words here that we use K. Now, computer, the word computer is a word that's probably going to be written quite a bit nowadays. Okay, uh, computer is uh, C O M P E U T R. That's computer. C O M, remember the K stands for C O M P E U, that gives you the P sound, and the T, and then the R. Okay? Computer, how about crown? K R, hold on, let me do this one over again. Oh, I'd like to say I never make a mistake, but I do. Okay, crown is K R A U N, that's crown. Since I messed up on the line here, let me do it down here. K R A U N, crown. That ound sound is A U N. Like in brown, B R A U N, such as in down, D A U N, sound, S A U N D. So that ound is A U N, okay? Damn. Almost finished, we're going to the alphabet of L. Okay, let's, let's look at just a few more words here with K. A while ago, off the line, I wrote the word carpet. That's going to be K O R. That's going to give you the car, the car sound. Pet, P E T, carpet. Okay, climate, K L I M A T, climate. Uh, let's see, how about let's look at the word uh, clone. K L O N. Okay, now, now with this one here, you could have actually wrote it this way with clone, K-L-O, and then put an N out there. But whenever, but in a lot of times you're going to see in some of the different series that's been published with Greg Shorthand, uh, the way some alphabets connect from the O like to the N, for instance, it would be, it would be more feasible to write it uh, just like I wrote, like clone, K-L, and come back a little bit, and then just go out. And that gives you your O right there, and then that gives you your N. Clone. K L O N. Okay? One more word. K R A B. Crab. K R A B. For crab. See, whenever you just do strokes to write a word, it's so much quicker to write words with Greg Shorthand strokes than to articulate alphabets. For instance, and I've used this over and over again, yesterday, Y-E-S-T-E-R, uh, D-A-Y, it takes a little bit of a, it actually takes a little bit of a artistic work to even write our, our, our alphabets. But yesterday, I've already wrote it, it's over with. I just made those, all I did was 
in essence, it was this description here by using this word yesterday, just those little three strokes. Yesterday. Yesterday. It's just so. Oh, it's much more quicker with a pen and tablet than what I'm doing here for you all uh, with this board here. So once you learn great shorthand, you look back at this and say, boy, was he ever going slow. Okay, let's go to the alphabet of L. And let's see, I'm going to have to get my notes here on some of the words that I've already previously wrote out in L to uh, write for you. In shorthand, I wrote them out in longhand, but I'm going to write them out for you in shorthand. I'm going to put them, write them off the line, and I'm going to go fast because we're running out of time with this video. And then I'm going to come back, write them on the line, and I'm going to go more into the words also. That I'm going to uh, cover a lot more words uh, like I had began a while ago that ends with you late, like formulate, speculate. Uh, matriculate, circulate, percolate, uh, and things like that. Okay, we're going to get more heavier into that with words that end with you late. But right now, let me just uh, give you some words that we, uh, we write with L. Remember, L is like this, and on the great on on the line, it would be like for late L A T. Okay. Now let me write some words off the line, and then we'll do them on the line. With great shorthand. Okay, this is the alphabet of L. Ladder, L A D R. A line, L I N. A line, L I M. A lake, L A K. A lady, L A D E. A lazy, L A Z E. Okay, now let me erase those, and we're going to do them online in a moment. I like to do them off the line at first because I like to just kind of show you how these things in great shorthand can just be stroked out so easy and fast. Let's look at the word lose, L-U-S, a lab, L-A-B, lag, L-A-G, uh, lead, L-E-D. Uh, let's look at the word lacquer. Write the word lacquer for you. Lacquer would be L A K R, that's lacquer. A load, L O D. A Larry, L A R E. A love, L U V. Okay? And of course, I'm writing it real. I'm taking up half the board with writing some of these words. Of course, on the line, they're not going to be that long. Uh, lie, someone tells a lie. Life, L I F. A lewd, L E U D. Uh, let's see, lively it would be L I V and put the little E on the end, and that takes care of your L Y sound, okay? Okay, let's see. Uh, we've only got just a few more seconds left for this video to list something. L I S, well, let's see, I wrote that a little bit, wrote like an A there instead of list. L I S T, list. Uh, listed. L I S T D. If you notice, whenever you add a D to a T, so that you can't just keep going straight with it because it'll look like a whole D. So where a T and a D uh, uh, come together, you what I did, I came down just a little hair where I ended the T, then I came up with the D. So when I reread this, when I see that little break right there, Looks like a little hook, like like a little check mark sign. I know that's where this alphabet ended from here to here, and I went on with a different alphabet. Okay, well, it's over 14 minutes, so let me end this, and we'll come back, and we'll finish it out. Thank you for tuning in, and please join us with the next one.